Okay. So um, I'm on the Garfield County Public Library District website, which is gcpld.org. Um, so I'm going to start with that first step of getting a card. And so um, just really quickly, if you don't have a Garfield County Library card, don't fear. Um, there's this link that we've put up in our right corner called Get a Card, and um, you can register right here. So um, what this does is you fill out this form, and it generates a number for you. So on our databases, you'll need your name and this library card number to log in. Um, I want to clear something up really quickly. It says you have limited privileges initially. This was normally true. And what that would mean is that if you did this online, you might not be able to get physical items at our library. Um, but since we're closed, that's not really an issue right now. So um, I would highly encourage you to, to fill this out and, and get your library card. So I'm going to jump back to um, our homepage. Um, so all of these are accessible through our research tab. Okay, and um, it's, it's, so you click on that. Um, these are our online resources from A to Z. So these are in alphabetical order. Um, all of these titles and our buttons are links and you can click on them and go to that database. Um, for parents, I would suggest the, like the fastest, most simple way to get to things for your kids are to look at this age group thing and select teens and kids. And then I'm going to click kids. Okay. So I didn't click enter. I didn't click okay or anything. It just automatically did that for me. So what this means is that these databases will match the content and reading level of that age group. And this is from elementary to, to, to teenagers. Um, so you'll notice that some of our databases are topical. So we have biography and context. So if your child needs a project or something about a specific person, this could be a great place to start. Um, some are, you know, very focused. So let's say you have a 15 year old that is really worried that they're going to be set back on getting their permit in time. <laughs> they can still take driver's test. Um, another really important one that I wanted to show you is Explora and Explora, you'll notice it's on here three times. And, and it's already divided for you. So we have one for high schoolers and one for elementary school students, okay? So I'm gonna click access just to kind of show you what this looks like. Um, so you'll notice that this is a database, but it's already in a very kid-friendly format. There's already things immediately on here for your child to see and engage with. Um, and it's, it's colorful, it's interesting, and, and so and they can be directed very easily. So biography, geography, science and health. Um, and so it can, it can help speed that up and, and make it more interesting for them in general. Um, if you need to get back to our research page at any time, just click the back button in your browser. It won't forget where you are. You won't be redirected to some other crazy website. Um, it'll just go right back to our databases. Um, so some are for, you know, Explora and encyclopedias are definitely more general resources. So that could be a great place for, for anyone to start with homework. Um, History Reference Center is another. Um, again, historical documents, maps, things like that. And again, very kid-friendly format, easy to engage with. And there's this, all of them have this search box at the top that everyone will find familiar and just type in what your student is looking for and go from there. Um, and again, I'm just gonna go back on here. So you'll notice that even though I narrowed this down just to kids and teens, there's still a ton of content. Um, and it's not all for you know traditional encyclopedia type stuff. So there's things to read, it's by topic, um, and then, like I said, all of these have been curated together because they'll match the content and reading level for your students. Um, okay, so I'm going to stop sharing my screen for a second. Hey, everyone. Um, all right, so just to kind of recap, um, I can imagine that some of you are now thinking, I'm not familiar with online databases either. <laughs> Um, how can I really help my student and support them in this way? Um, I, there's so much more you can do than what you think. And I just want to give you a couple tips and tricks on that front too. Um, when I was a teacher, I frequently reminded kids and parents that you can't break it. 
<clears throat> so you can't break a database, right? You can click on everything and anything, play around with it. It will become more familiar and, and then you can learn together. Um, it can go a long way to start your, st your student or child off on the right foot. So maybe help them choose the right database, like that history or biography, you know, narrow it down for them at the beginning. And then I think this goes for everyone involved, and I would say this on so many different topics, but trust that you're doing a lot better than what you think. <laughs> this can also just be a really fun activity to enjoy together. Your kids do have access to a lot of fun and interesting things for school, and they can view them in a safe environment, in an educational environment, and it's all available from your local library. Um, this doesn't just stop with middle school or even high school. And so that's why Becky Kramer is here from Colorado Mountain College. So I'm going to hand it off to her. Okay, you're probably wondering what can CMC offer our communities? Well, we are ready to offer in-depth personal reference services for our greater Roaring Fork Valley and beyond. We know that a lot of college students have moved back to the valley. Um, since they've been displaced by their colleges and their, and their res halls. So we are happy to extend our reference services to any student from any college. Also, we would be happy to meet with any community member who would like research help. Maybe you wanna navigate the latest information on the pandemic and you don't know how to sift through all the resources. Maybe you wanna find out more about what the state of Colorado is offering in terms of small business support. Maybe you're homeschooling, you want some, some homeschool research. Anything that you would wanna know more about, you can make an appointment with any of our, our, our libraries that are reaching out to the community. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in a minute. I wanna share my screen and bring you to our website. And it's super simple, super easy, and you can get dialed in. So I'm gonna share my screen. Uh-oh, most disabled person, you're gonna to have to, enable me to share my screen. There we go. Okay. This is our, our CMC homepage and you can simply get there by going to library.coloradomtn.edu and it'll pop right up. And where you need to go to get help from our, our, our librarians is right here, phone or WebEx appointment. You simply click on the phone or WebEx appointment and you'll see several staff members that are gonna be talking to public library patrons and helping you through, navigate through any re reference, resource, database questions um, that you have. I think you can think of academic librarians um, as database wizards. That's what we do all the time. We're with, we're with students digging through databases, helping them find resources. And just like Lacey said, you can't break them. But sometimes it can be, um, you get stuck and, and we're here to help you get unstuck. So we have different ways you can get unstuck. You can email us, we can make a, a phone appointment, and we can even have a WebEx appointment, which is similar to what we're doing right now with Zoom. So I hope that you reach out to us and, and, and use our resources because we're here to help any way we can. Lacey, back to you. Thanks, Becky. Um, I just want to thank everybody for joining us. And, and if you have any other questions, whether that's as a parent or a student or a caregiver or, oh my gosh, what can I do? Um, please reach out to us. And like I said, this is, we're really trying to do an effort to let you know that we're still here for you. So um, thanks for tuning in. And if you have any questions, uh, just get in contact with us and we hope to see you soon.